Look at that. Zach's here. Yo, you wanna do some exploring today? Let's explore. Welcome back, guys. Um, today, we, we being Zach and I, are gonna go do some exploring, some scouting in a new area. Before we get underway, like one of the things I wanted to talk about in this video was when you're going into new areas and um, just kind of mention, point out, like when you're going into new areas, uh, take it slow, go easy, you know, you don't want to run the boat aground and more importantly, you don't really want to go and tear up some really pristine habitat that could be holding the fish. Um, I know for me, I spend a lot of time, as I've been learning the area that I fish a lot, I've been spending a lot of time up there with a pole in my hand and just going slow and just taking my time. Um, yeah, I'd love to come out here and just catch a million redfish, but I gotta find them and I gotta learn the water and I gotta learn how to safely get on and off flats without tearing them up and, you know, terrorizing all the fish. So, um, yeah, some pointers, stuff to think about next time you're going into a new area and you're gonna do some exploring. But, enough of that, let's go find some fish. Exploration mission. Alright, first of the day. First one. Hmm. See you, dude. Whoa. Spoon fly. Let's get one more. Let's do that again. Alright, so we've been using the spoon, which when I'm scouting new areas, I really like to use a spoon because. I can work it really fast and cover a lot of water. But we've been seeing a lot of um, sheep's head and black drum. So we're going to get something a little more crabby. And we're going to see if we can uh, convince one of these sheep's head or, or, or black drum to hit. And the, ben the beauty of something like that like this and this is called a convict killer and it's made by Sightcast. Uh, the beauty of something like this is redfish will still go for it. Should still should still go for it. So we'll see. Um, see what happens. There's been seeing some good fish in this area, which is exciting. It's always really nice when, when you, you kind of look at an area on a map and you think to yourself, like, man, I, I bet there's fish there, and, and you go there to check it out and uh, you find fish. It's a cool feeling, it's a good feeling. But yeah. Convict killer. There you go. Black drum. So, we came in and uh, 
we started seeing tails. We were seeing sheep's head, we were seeing tails, so we switched up from going after trout. Start going after some drum. Don't don't tell my wife that we let this go. spot we uh, we found some good reds and uh, I went ahead and marked it um, on my on my map my on X map so that uh, I know where it was and go and get back to it um, and I had this all in my head earlier Honestly, guys, when when you start scouting and you're looking for new areas, you know, just go slow. You don't want to you don't want to run into an area that's too shallow and, and cut the whole seabed floor up, cut all the grasses up, and uh, put big prop scars in it. So just take your time and uh, you know, go slow, get to know an area. And uh, one of the things that I'll that I'll say too is. Um, if you're new to saltwater fishing, I know we've all seen the videos of the guys hauling butt through the uh, through the the marshes, and it's really and I admit it's fun, it's cool. Um, but make sure you know the area you're doing that in. Make sure you're not tearing up sea grasses in the process. Um, if you're seeing guys that are based in South Carolina or North Carolina or Georgia doing that, realize that those creeks those guys run in are are typically three, four, or five feet deep. Like those are really deep, deep creeks versus like where I'm at here in Texas. You know, most of the water's only a couple feet deep. So if you're gonna do something like that, make sure you, you understand where the deepest part of the water is and make sure you're not cutting grasses up. So yeah, like I said, just take, go slow in the beginning and uh, hope you guys find some fish. Hit like, hit subscribe all that other stuff. See you guys next week.